Doing soap opera of scuffed baseballs and cork bats. Only this time around, there's little doubt about it. Billy Hatcher of the Houston Astros was using a cork bat last night in the Astrodome. It cracked wide open for all the world to see in the fourth inning against the Chicago Cubs. Hatcher, a 3-11 hitter, is a man the Astros need in the lineup, and he is facing a possible suspension from National League President Bart Giamatti. And that's bad news for a team. Five and a half games off the NL West lead. Especially bad news when you consider that Billy Hatcher says the infamous bat is not his, and that he's a victim in all of this. It didn't take long for the Cubs to pick up the pieces of this controversy and bring them to the men in blue. Billy Hatcher legged out his infield hit, but third baseman Keith Moreland handed the bat parts to home plate umpire Dana DeMuth. He seemed to barely suppress a laugh because he had the ultimate smoking gun and it went to his boss, crew chief John McSherry. Well, the bat was, uh, obviously it broke wide open. There was a, a little, like, groove in it inside, and there was about that much cork, maybe about four inches worth of cork, maybe not quite that much in this groove. Uh, obviously, when the bat's together, the groove is cemented together. It was definitely cork. Yes. Definitely. Hatcher's explanation, it wasn't my bat. I'm telling you right straight up now that, you know, I had no idea that the bat was court. They mess around with the bat, you know, doing it to hit in the dome, you know, they have a little game plan for beer and stuff, but it was just just one of those situations, you know, if I had known it was court or whatever, I would have never went up there to use it because, you know, I like to, you know, chop the ball down in the turf anyway. I don't want it to get too quick to him. Hatcher claimed it was somebody else's, but, uh, and it may well be, I don't know. Uh, but Hatcher used it, that's all that counts. You know, I got down to first base, and I'm on first base. I'm wondering, you know, what they're saying. Was I running on the inside part of the bases? Mm -hmm. The reason they made a wild throw and everything. And then when they said the bat was corked, I said, what? Mm -hmm. And then McSherry said, hold on, hold on. And then, you know, he started telling me what had happened. He said, you know, we're going to have to get kick you out of the game and all that stuff. And he said, you know, he hit me on the bat. I said, don't worry about it. I said, okay. The bat belongs to reliever Dave Smith, a career 129 hitter, one for two this year. Hallineer's club is in a seven-game losing streak and a pennant race it isn't winning. He said Hatcher just grabbed the nearest bat. It's a situation where Billy did not know what he had in his hand. He just picked it up because he broke his bat the first time up and uh, it was the same model. But it appears that Hatcher, the Astros' leading hitter, began last night's game with the same bat that later split open. Here in the first inning, Smith's number 45 is visible on the handle of the bat. It's the same bat by appearance that he used in that fateful fourth inning. The night before, Hatcher used two bats. Monday, his first time up, a lighter colored bat with his number 28 on the end. The second at bat Monday, he switched to another, a darker bat, but still with his number. It appears to be the same bat that Hatcher used in his final at bat on Monday.